Okay, hi guys, Dino Kang again. Okay, on today's topic of renting Dino will be on protein timing. Okay, so does protein timing really is protein timing really that important when it comes to building muscle? And should you be rushing for your post workout meal or post workout shake? Okay, so the answer is it really depends. And ultimately, the most important number you should be looking is your your total protein intake throughout the day. Okay, so why is that so? Is because actually, you need to first understand like how our body uses protein, and what like what is exactly going on lah. So, for me to put it very very simply for you guys, basically there are three three groups of macronutrients. So nutrients that you you need in large amounts, which is basically your carbs, your fats, and your protein. So your carbs and your fat, right, are basically stored as carbs or fat. The difference here is that when you're eating protein, let's say chicken breast, that protein isn't exactly stored as protein because our body doesn't exactly store protein. So there's a certain timing that matters when it comes to having protein within a certain window. Okay, so the theory of this window it is, it is theoretically true, but the window overlaps and people over. Overstate its importance because most of the time, your window of protein intake will be overlapping from your previous meal, making it not that important after all. Okay, my point is this: what's more important in your in making sure that you have protein available? Die back. Okay, what's more important is that you actually have protein available in your body when you are done with your workout. Okay, which means the meal before you work out, there should be protein available in your body. Like I mentioned, protein isn't stored, and different kinds of protein digest, digests, these different kinds of protein digest at different speeds. So the faster it digests, the faster it gets absorbed or used, and it it is no longer there. Okay, so when it is no longer there, it no longer counts as you know available protein in the body to use for muscle protein synthesis, MPS for short, basically muscle growth. Okay, long story short, long story short, basically you just want to make sure that you have some protein when you are done with your workout. So, give you an example, if my morning breakfast was full of chicken breast, and then two hours later I go for a hard workout. After the workout, you don't need any protein shake. You are perfectly fine. You don't need any protein shake. Maybe I mean it wouldn't hurt to have a protein shake. But my point is, you definitely don't need a protein shake because your chicken from two hours ago is still digesting. You have protein available for MPS. You are fine. Okay, but if you are waking, if you, if you woke up fasted and you head to the gym and then you are smashing a two hour session. Before eating anything, your last meal with protein, your last protein, your last protein source will be about I don't know twelve hours back. That will not be ideal in terms of muscle protein synthesis because muscle protein synthesis is a MPS is a very dynamic thing. It's an ongoing thing. Put it this way: every hour you can only gain so much. So every hour. When you are working out, and after you are done with working out, the stimulation from training is there. But during that one hour, you don't have the protein in your body available. You are missing out on those gains. So that theory is actually correct. But most of the time, okay, you will have some protein from your previous meal, especially if you are not training fasted. So the post workout timing actually it is only important if you are looking at working out early in the morning without eating anything. Definitely after your workout, you really want to have some protein. So that's the whole hype about protein timing, whereby you need to understand like whether you have protein available in the body at that point of time when you are done with your workout or even during your workout. Okay, so don't worry too much about it. Like I said, the easier way to look at it is that as long as you have enough protein throughout the day. For example, if I'm taking 180 grams to 200 grams of protein a day, 
you are more or less covered. Just don't have them all at one go. You can absorb all of it, 200 grams, but you will not be able to maximize your MPS, your gains, that period whereby, you know, within a certain hour, you can only gain so much muscle. Try to spread out your protein is my point. Okay, so that's all for this topic. I hope this clears it up. Okay, if you have any questions, do leave it in the comments below. And that's it. Oh yeah, do remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.